In this video, we are going to discuss Claisen ester condensation or simply Claisen condensation. Already we discussed the treatment of acetaldehyde with a base that initially led to the formation of enolatine and later to the aldol product. But what happens if we treat an ester, for example, ethyl acetate? with a base, let's say ethoxide, sodium ethoxide for example. Here we are using ethoxide instead of the hydroxide as hydroxide would hydrolyze the ester. And how did we get this? To prepare sodium ethoxide, ethyl alcohol is treated with alkali metal sodium plus hydrogen and if you balance the reaction this is what you get. The mechanism of Claisen ester condensation or Claisen condensation is very much similar to aldol condensation. There is hardly any difference. So let's see the mechanism. Step 1. In the first step, the base ethoxide is going to remove one of the alpha hydrogen atoms of the ester ethyl acetate to form the enolatine. Plus ethyl alcohol. Now step 2. The next step is the nucleophilic attack by the enolatine on a second molecule of the ester. The concentration of enolatine is very low and each enolate ion is surrounded by other unenolized molecules. So this enolate ion is going to attack the electrophilic carbonyl group of the second molecule of an ester and this negative charge drops. Now step 3 where something different happens. This anion is having the leaving group OC2H5. So what happens in step 3, this leaving group leaves and this negative charge drops and we get our product known as ethyl acetoacetate plus the leaving group which is the ethoxide ion and this is ethyl acetoacetate or beta keto ester. It looks like we get our catalyst back like the aldol condensation if you remember, but this is not. This ethoxide is very much weak to remove the proton from the ethyl acetate, but it is strong enough to remove the proton from ethyl acetoacetate. So what happens in the next step? So this is ethyl acetoacetate. and this is the ethoxide. So ethoxide is going to remove the proton from ethyl acetoacetate and we get a stable enolate ion
Now this stable enolate ion on acidic workup gives the product ethyl acetoacetate itself. or the beta keto ester this is the alpha carbon and this is the beta carbon so beta carbon has the ketonic group so beta keto ester or ethyl acetoacetate plus the byproduct alcohol so overall the reaction is the formation of beta keto ester by the condensation of ester molecules containing alpha hydrogen atom. So this is it. Thank you for watching.